beloved second home at Warm Springs, Georgia, the body of Franklin Delano Roosevelt moves on the first stages of its journey to his final resting place. Scores of sufferers from infantal paralysis sorrowfully bid farewell to their great friend and benefactor. The president's dog follows his beloved master. Aboard a special train beginning the 24-hour trip back to Washington, the 31st President of the United States leaves Warm Springs forever. And all along the 700-mile route, people gather to honor President Roosevelt and his ideals. the train backs into Union Station in the United States Capitol, awaited by a military guard of honor and members of the late great chief executive's family. With Justice Burns and Secretary Wallace, President Harry S. Truman heads the assemblage of the nation's leaders. On a six-horse field artillery caisson, escorted by representatives of every branch of the nation's armed forces, the casket passes grief-stricken throngs of people and route from the station to the White House. Warplanes pay a final tribute to the fallen commander-in-chief, and officers and men of the mighty armed forces which he led march in slow, measured tread in Franklin Roosevelt's honor. from the White House in Lafayette Park, the men, women, and children whom Franklin Roosevelt served so well watch in tearful silence. Just before the brief private White House rites, President Roosevelt's casket rests in the historic East Room. Here, 80 years before, lay Abraham Lincoln. Now, home again, to the garden of his family home in Hyde Park, New York, comes President Roosevelt. Here in the old and lovely Hudson River estate, which several years ago he bequeathed to the people of the United States, the mortal remains of a man whose career has known no parallel in our time will rest forever.
television and the world mourn with Mrs. Roosevelt and her family.